So what I'm realizing recently is the importance of unconditional love. And I know those words get thrown around a lot, or not even thrown around, but we say it, but sometimes, or at least for me, I overlooked how important it is and how simple yet profound it makes life. That's the message that I keep getting with my meditations, with the moments that I go so deep and connect to source, connect to my God self. It's saying, come back to love, come back to love, come back to unconditional love, come back to purity and detach, detach lovingly. Because when we detach, we're not loving something upon conditions. We are loving things as they are in every step of their evolution in every step of their journey and realizing that I need to do that for myself because I'm in a phase of my reality of my life where I'm in a lot of solitude. This whole awakening journey for me after that big awakening that I had, which I will speak about maybe in another video. It's shifted so much within me and just to process all those shifts, I've had to spend so much time in solitude because it's like so much is going on in my internal world that if I was to go out in the external world, it would confuse me or it'd be too overstimulating or I'd be pushing myself too far because there's a whole other journey going on in here. And to begin with, and I go back and forth with this, there are times where I feel like I'm not doing anything with my life. Uh, there's so much time that I'm spending by myself, in my room, in my bed, working out, what's going on, shedding who I am, shedding my ego, my sense of separation. And when you do so much shedding, yes, on the other side, it is so beautiful, but in the process of the shedding of each shed, of each transformation, it's scary because it's like you're letting go. You're letting go of so much so much of who you thought you were, so much of what you thought your path was, what your future is going to look like because what you once wanted, what you were like, okay, this is what I want in my life. This is a part of my bucket list, my to-do list in life, my goals list in life. You no longer resonate with anymore. And that's quite scary can be quite scary because it's like, okay, well, what do I want now? Because I had phases in my shedding process and I'm experiencing it now as well, but that I realized the version of me when I was a lot younger and the version of who I am now want completely different things and I was still holding on to that version that wanted these things and if I didn't complete these things on my goals list then I wouldn't be living my life to the fullest or I would have let myself down or yeah I would have just not ticked everything off the list that I wanted to do but what I was doing was forcing myself to be someone that I no longer am. And I was actually suppressing this other version of me, pushing it down, pushing it down. And it was trying to come up, trying to come up because this is who I am now, but I was pushing it down so I can be and live out this other version's dreams, 
but those dreams no longer align to my truth and who I am anymore. And so, yeah, it's been confusing and I'm just not resisting what comes up. I'm just allowing it to come up, to give, give it thanks. And just coming from a loving place, loving all of it, loving the confusion, loving the uncertainty, loving the fear, loving the love, loving the excitement, loving the expansion, loving my old self that is shedding, thanking it, loving this new version that's continuously being reborn. Loving the loneliness, the isolation. Loving it all. And realizing that I'm not alone at all. Because I'm always connected to Source. A bigger part of me. A bigger part of us. And that it's okay for all these feelings to come up. For all this emotion and sadness and there's been so much grief that's been happening as well. Because of the shedding of identity, losing, feeling like I'm losing so much of myself, so many parts of myself. And I know it's for the greatest good, but at the same time, it feels like this continuous, continuous death of self. This grief comes over you. And at first I was like, why? I'm so confused, why am I so sad, why am I so low? So if anyone's kind of going through something like this, being okay with the feeling and understanding that it's grief and that it's okay to feel grief because there are parts of you that you're letting go of. And also knowing and holding the truth that although there are parts of you that you are letting go of, it's creating space, space for who you can be, space for the... It makes so much sense to me now why people are getting the most amazing results and so fast in the membership, where people are truly becoming the creators of their life and evolving their money, their career, their relationships, and experiencing inner peace, amazing sleep, self-confidence, connection to God, and feeling really powerful and aligned in their life. Because in the membership, we are speaking to the analytical, logical mind through the workshops and masterminds, so people understand the concepts and they get given the exact steps on the how-to, so they aren't confused and they have a clear understanding and direction, knowing exactly how to apply the knowledge, take action to see actual change in their life, whilst also evolving their subconscious mind, energetic body, self-confidence, self-concept through the repetition and feeling with the identity upgrades and guided meditations. So we are working with the mental, the physical, the energetic and the spiritual body. So we are having a change completely within and then externally without. I feel so fulfilled to experience so many people changing their lives and so rapidly as well you guys surprised me so i just want to say thank you so much and i feel so excited and happy every time i get a success story and i love going on this journey with you